transient with parts of the sea or LC circuit with DTL for under damped, critically damped and over damped cases. So we have a RLC circuit kit for transient analysis. In order to perform the experiment, we need a function generator, we need a digital oscilloscope, a multimeter is also required to measure resistances or what is level at some points. Some patch cards and uh, connecting cables are required. So, before starting the experiment, let me introduce various components on the kit. We have a potentiometer having variable resistance from few ohms to kilo ohms. We have series combination of resistance and inductors. We have various combinations of resistance RL1, L1, RL2, L2, RL3, L3, RL4, L4, RL5, L5 and a capacitor. So the typical values of these resistors are L1 is of 10 mA uh, energy, R L1 is 63 ohm, L2 is 15 mA energy, R L2 is 97 ohms, L3 is 20 mA energy, R L3 is 133 ohms, L4 is 25 mA energy, R L4 is 159 ohms, L5 is 30 mA energy and RL5 is 187 ohms and the capacitor is of 1000 picofarad. So in order to perform on the RLC circuit for transient analysis, we will make the connections. First of all, we will try put this knob at minimum position and we measure its resistance with the help of a multimeter. So we have set this knob at some minimum position and Suppose we have fixed at this point where we are getting 32 ohms of resistance well. Okay. Now we will make connections. We will connect output of this function generator with this cable as the positive terminal will be connected with point number 1 and negative terminal of output of pulse generator with point number 2 of the kit. Now point number 3 is connected with any one of these combinations of series resistance and inductors. So let us take the first one. So we will connect point number 3 with point number 4 and in order to observe the output waveform we will connect our DSO positive terminal at test point number 3. So in this way we can we can observe that at channel number 1 we are getting a pulse train that is our input. The output is connected with the second channel of the DSO and in this case we are getting a under damped wave form which is decaying exponentially with respect to time. Now in this case we will record the pot resistance value that we have measured by multimeter and typically we have set this at 37 ohms. So we have made a table here. In this case, we have RL1 equal to 63 ohms. So, equivalent resistance since 
in this circuit you can see that this part is connected in series with RL1 so equivalent resistance will be this potentiometer resistance plus RL1 so we have this equivalent resistance R equal to 37 plus 63 that is equal to 100 ohms the inductor that is connected in series with RL1 is L1 and whose value is 10 milli Hannity so we have written here 10 milli Hannity in Hannity this is in Hannity and the capacitor is of 10 pic, uh, thousand picofarad so the ratio of R and twice of L R by twice of L that is damping ratio is equal to 5000 and 1 upon square root of LC is equal to this much so in this case you can see that R by 2L is less than 1 upon square root of LC so this is the case of under damp and we are observing uh, and the, at the output and under damp waveform so this uh, proves that we are getting the correct waveforms study critical damp phase we will increase the resistance R by rotating this knob until the oscillations these oscillations disappear from the output so we are gradually rotating this potentiometer in, in clockwise direction and you can observe that there is reduction in the oscillation amplitude and we will continue this rotation of no, uh, part until these oscillations disappear so and at this point we are getting critical damping in the output so at this particular point we will measure the resistance value R with the help of the multimeter we will connect a multimeter at this across the potentiometer and in this case we are getting a value of 6.280 so you can observe that this 6.280 is giving us a R by 2L ratio equal to 317150 and 1 upon square root of LC is 316228 so in this case approximately these two values are equal so this is the case of critical damping and we have observed on the DSO that we are getting the right waveforms for the case of critical damping now again we will observe over damped waveform for that we will further increase the resistance value and we will observe that there is a further change in the output waveform so in this case we have obtained the waveform like this and at this point we will again measure the value of resistance R with the help of multimeter and in this way we have obtained a resistance value of 21.3 kilo ohms so we will record this 21.3 kilo ohms so in this case you can observe that the damping ratio R upon 2L is much more greater than 1 upon square root of LC so theoretically this is the case of over damp and practically we have observed that we are getting the right waveform so in this way we have uh, performed transient analysis of RHC circuits and learned three different cases of under damp, critical damp and over damp thank you very much